Hey girls, I'm Cassandra Brooks, your AmiClover.com spokesmodel. And I know it's a little bit early, but we've been getting lots of requests for back to school videos. And we've been getting lots of clothes in that are perfect for that. So we're gonna be making you actually a series on outfits you can wear to school. This one is gonna be focusing on dress code. I know some of you might not agree with it. Um, you might not even know why there's a dress code, but even if we don't understand it, we have to abide by it. So I'm gonna show you some really cute options to sticking to dress code. And also I want you to keep in mind that all schools have different dress codes. So what works for one person may not work for you, but there are great ways of altering outfits, putting on layers that are gonna help you get by with those rules. Let's check out some of my favorites. Just in case you broke up with that fling over the summertime, you're definitely going to want to let all the cute boys know. But this is a little risky for school. It has the sexy razor cut in the back, so I paired it with a neon tank top. These gladiator sandals make the outfit look effortless. Some schools actually have a two to three finger strap rule. So hey, that's cover those shoulders up, young lady. Not gonna work. We're gonna need a cardigan. Cardigans, let me tell you, are gonna be your best friend throughout the school year because these are gonna cover your shoulders. And if you get one that's still kind of thin material, it's gonna breathe and it's not gonna make you too hot in the summertime. So this is a great layering tool, but maybe you don't want to get into all those layers. Let's just change our shirt. So we have tons of graphic tees for you to choose from off of the website. I just picked a fun red one, um, and I want to address the fedora. Now, I don't know if your school allows hats or not. Um, I know mine, like halfway through, you were only allowed to wear the school provided hats, anything with the school logo. Um, so if you can get away with wearing a hat, fedoras are really, really popular right now, and it will save you a lot of time in the morning if you're having a bad hair day, so good luck. Outfit number two is definitely getting a little bit wild, but what's so fun about this top is it's actually really versatile. Say you're at an impromptu backyard party, this can double as a mini dress. Yeah. Let's get serious, you're definitely not going to be wearing a mini dress to school. So to make it school appropriate, you can take the pants from the previous outfit that I just showed you or some fun leggings and voila, you have an outfit. Now just grab your favorite wedges or some flats. I paired these with this outfit to give it a pop of color. And then I just brought in some bright pink accessories to match. This actually came with a black belt. I swapped that out for a pink one, put in a pink flower and a pink mangle, and I'm ready to go. All right, so now I'm bringing you a brand new and unique style that is just starting to hit the streets. You might think, Sandra, bandage dresses have been around forever. That's not unique. But what's unique about it is the cut. We haven't really seen A-line cut bandage dresses, have we? Um, so they're starting to hit now. You can definitely be one of the first ones to wear it. And what's great about it is the cut makes it school appropriate, but it's still form fitting so that you can wear it out on the weekends as well. Um, so the top was a little low cut and I actually just put a black tube top bandeau underneath um, and that kind of adds to the color blocking effect. Um, but it's definitely long enough. At my school we have the fingertips rule, so this is perfect. And then I paired it with some rust wedges. Um, these are fabulous and all the colors are definitely fall colors. I can't believe the school year's almost here. So I actually wanted to continue on with the bandage style dress. Um, now I know this was a type of dress that I was just talking about previously saying that maybe it wouldn't be school appropriate, but I'm going to show you how to make your sexy club bandage dress school appropriate. All you're going to need is, first of all, a kind of long bandage dress. What's great about a lot of the bandage dresses is they are super stretchy. Um, so if that principal walks by, you can pull it down a little bit and that way it is definitely um, past your fingertips. Um, or if you wanted to be a little bit more modest, you can pair it with some black leggings. Um, but here, what I actually did, I'll show you a picture of what the bandage dress looks like without the tank top. Definitely too sexy for school. So I just paired a black camisole underneath and we are good to go. It covers up the cleavage, it covers up the back, and I just paired it with these fun wedges and I'm school appropriate. This season has been a little pantsuit crazy but not all of them are school appropriate. So instead of them collecting dust in your closet during the school year, I'm gonna show you how to 
accessorize them to work. Pretty much I just paired this one with a black pocket vest. It has little pockets here um, and it definitely gives you enough play on the shoulders so that you can get past the principal without getting written up. And then what I actually really love about this pantsuit is it comes with an accessory. So um, I actually tied this in my hair. You could tie it around your waist as a belt. You can wrap it around your wrist for a bracelet, really. The possibilities are endless. Um, but I decided to put it in my hair, and instead, to bring in all the black, I put a black belt. It also accentuates by waist. And that's bringing in also the black wedges. Um, so these are comfortable enough to run around the halls in, and this is definitely dialing up the boho chic vibe a lot. Um, but now, let's talk about those heavy school vibes. No need to be weighed down by that oversized and ugly backpack when you can carry a cute purse or a cute backpack. Um, so when I was in high school, I opted for the purse option and the oversized handbags were my best friend. Um, these are really great when you have, you can actually fit like your binder and a couple books in here and you can stash the rest in your locker in between classes. Um, and these were really great. The only thing is these can tend to hurt your shoulder um, if you're carrying them around for extended periods of time. So you want to make sure that you transfer them side to side and you do want to try and stash the heaviest items that you don't need with you the whole entire day in your locker until you need them. Um, so these are really great options and they also look kind of chic with your outfit. So if you're dressing really trendy and then you have a drab backpack, it kind of messes with the look. So this is a cute way to stay all dolled up throughout the school day. And if you want to go cute, we have this Hello Kitty version. Now same thing as I was talking about with the black bag, you can fit a binder in here. It's really big um, and it just really has a lot of room. Check out the cute lining. You'll get a lot of compliments on this bag. It's adorable and it's really heavy duty. That's important when you're going to be weighing it down with books. Um, you want to make sure that it has strong straps. Now let's move on to backpacks. I personally liked both, depending on my load for that day. If it was really, really heavy, I would take the backpack, or if I knew I wasn't gonna get a ride home. If you're walking home, sometimes a backpack is better because it evenly distributes the weight on your back instead of just one shoulder. So these are some of our brand new Hello Kitty backpacks that we got on the website. I'm obsessed with them, they're so cute. So it's kind of like good versus evil, which one will you pick? So I hope that gave you great inspiration on how to look smart your first day of school. And if you have in mind the perfect outfit for the first day of school, please leave that in the comments below. And stay tuned for next week. We're going to be showing you how to dress up that school uniform.